Our next performer, our next performer comes from the Faculty of Mathematics <laughs> in Cumbria. He works with medical imaging, and in his webpage, he claims to solve real-world problems by mixing mathematics and imaging. So let's find out, and uh, let's hear it from Samuel Isetanin. University of Helsinki, but my dear hobby is photography. That's why I built this uh, little presentation around the themes of mathematics and photography and what mathematics can do uh, for photography. But you know, before I start, I would like to comment a little about uh, nowadays photographic culture. You know, people are taking these so called selfies or self portraits. Phones, something like this. I mean, hey, come on. If you're going to take a self-portrait, you should use a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. so-called selfie enhancer tool. <laughs> it's, it's just pure excellence. Let me show you. namely photobombs, diffusing photobombs using mathematics. So how come mathematics? How on earth is photography and mathematics related in any way? Ah, but they are related very much these days because photos are digital. They are actually numbers. Let me explain. I use this photo as an example. It's a very typical view in a Finnish lake. <laughs> Too much mathematics. 
anyway, a big number, <laughs> much green, small number, not so much green. Anyway, <laughs> we can apply mathematics. For example, what would be the simplest way to use mathematics? Addition. We can sum up two photographs like this. <laughs> For once, you see how the total is more than the sum. <laughs> We don't use mathematics here for summing of images. Huh, it's silly. We will use it to remove unwanted objects, that is, for diffusing photobol. <laughs> so actually I will use as an example a portrait session I had a while ago. Uh, here's my wife <laughs> and the stupid fish. <laughs> this is my mother-in-law and the stupid fish. <laughs> my father and, and, and you know who. <laughs> Expressions and he usually doesn't like to be on that end of the camera. And that, that day he was kind of a, in a good mood. I, I was getting good pictures. The next one is, is the best one I ever got of him. <laughs> oh, Dad, but that's just gross. <laughs> I think maybe the best picture I ever took of my dad. However, that's just a big fish. <laughs> what can we do? Well, we can use manually. Let me explain. Let's look at the green channel of this fish. Um, let's remove it just like that, but we should fill in something reasonable here. And for that, we call for help from the 19th century mathematician, Simeon Denis Poisson, whose equation is here. Some of you may know French. <laughs> inside. How come? Well, physically thinking, uh, you know, these are just numbers around here, these gray values. We can think of them as temperature. We can think of them as centigrade. And then uh, this equation describes what is the temperature distribution inside a metal plate if the temperature is this around the edges of the metal plate. So here's it. Uh, so we can go on and use the equation of Professor Fish. Remove it. The stupid strings are still there. But however, we can remove them. So, stupid fish? No stupid fish. <laughs> Here, 
proper engineer. Maybe not completely perfect, but I think better than the equation of Professor Fish in this case. So here's the no trace of any strings. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I have a future as a special effects guy in I have yet another example with even more difficult background. Here it's not really smooth, not really geometric. Uh, of course, very beautiful, these lovely fall colors, they just invited me out in Kumpula campus to take this picture. But again, this stupid seafood is there, <laughs> preparing to fight, always. <laughs> well, of course, we can apply the equation of Professor Fish. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we can move on. on. Sorry? It looks alright to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Nevertheless, let's try total variation as well. Oh, pretty exciting. You know, it's a quite a quite a code I wrote up for this. And uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no! Fish, your boss. He's <laughs> Professor Fish, your boss. Uh, I think a spiritual boss. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in complex spaces, the complex spaces, there's Need to repeat again? Can you do it in complex spaces? Yes, definitely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two dimensional. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Samuel, so much.